Last year, ABC4 Utah traveled to New Orleans to learn about hyperthermia, a cancer treatment that kills harmful cells with heat. We explored its use all across the world and found hyperthermia was not being used in the Intermountain West. But it is now. Good for Utah, Saray Chen reports. Cancer is not a neat word for anybody. Terrence Faber was diagnosed with stage four prostate cancer a year ago. I have aggressive cancer. And whatever we can do to combat that, and hypothermia apparently is one real big help. And now he has that option right here in Salt Lake City. Gamma West Cancer Services is the first facility in Utah to use hyperthermia treatment. We have, you know, invested in space, equipment, personnel, and we would like to become a regional center of excellence for hyperthermia. And we have good clinical data which shows a significant benefit when you add hyperthermia to radiation in controlling a recurrent cancer. So when Faber's cancer came back, Dr. Hayes added hyperthermia to Faber's treatment plan. Here's how he says it works. The heat causes more blood to flow into the tissue. That brings more oxygen to the tumor cells trapped inside scar tissue, making radiation more effective. And Mr. Faber has plenty of scar tissue from previous treatments. We were there for Faber's first hyperthermia treatment. Because he's had prior treatment, we're going to give a treatment with extra power and umph to get rid of all this cancer. Hyperthermia treatments have been around for more than three decades. Just last year, we showed you how it's being used in Europe. But many facilities here in the U.S. still aren't using it, saying there's not enough peer-reviewed research yet to prove or disprove its effectiveness. But Dr. Hayes disagrees. With hyperthermia, we have decades-old data with 15 randomized controlled clinical trials showing a benefit. A great thing. I'm glad to see it here. This is the transverse view. Dr. Hayes says it typically only takes a few days to see a tumor visibly shrink after being treated with hyperthermia. And both he and Faber are optimistic about the future. I, I'm really excited about the way the things are going. I'm feeling real good. Saray Chin, good for Utah.